Corey Feldman has no idea what it's like not to be famous. He was just three years old in this McDonald's commercial. McDonald's gift certificates. I literally was famous before I knew my own name. His roles defined the 80s. Goonies. This was my dream, my wish. Stand by me. You call my dad a loony again, and I'll kill you. License to drive. The only difference between you and that greaseball is that he has a license and you don't. <laughs> Films that propelled him into the spotlight for his entire youth. But being famous so young, he says, caused serious damage to him and his friends. Do you feel like you missed out on a normal childhood? <laughs> what childhood? <laughs> I don't know what that means. A lost childhood and a loss of innocence. He blames the adults, not just those looking to profit from charming children, but also some with far more sinister motives. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. That's the biggest problem for children in this industry. The casting couch even applies to children. Oh, yeah. Not in the same way. It's all done under the radar. Nobody talks about pedophilia. It's the big secret. And it's widespread? Oh, yeah. I was surrounded by them when I was 14 years old. Surrounded. Literally. Didn't even know it. It wasn't until I was old enough to realize what they were and what they wanted and what they were about and the types of people that were surrounding me till I went, oh my God, they were everywhere like vultures. Vultures who Feldman says abused him and his best friend, the late child actor Corey Haim, his co-star in The Lost Boys. Well, what happens if my mom is dating the head vampire? Feldman says the trauma of that pedophilia contributed to Haim's death. There's one person to blame in the death of Corey Haim, and that person happens to be a Hollywood mogul. And that person needs to be exposed, but unfortunately I can't be the one to do it. But the person that knows who did it and knows who he is, is watching right now, I guarantee you. Hmm. Yeah. Intriguing. Yeah. There was a circle of older men that surrounded themselves around this group of kids. Hmm. ...power or connections to great power in the entertainment industry. Feldman won't name names. And he admits his friend had a struggle with addiction, which he says was a mechanism to cope with his demons. It was a symptom. It was a symptom, correct. Are we in it? In 2008, the two Corys confronted each other on their reality show about the dark past they shared. You let me get... ...so to speak. When I was about 14 and a half, and I'm seeing this right now. What'd you do, man, when you saw that going down when I was 14 to me? What'd you do? You knew about it. You want to talk about the truth? Okay, well, then let's talk about the truth. I was being molested at the same time by somebody else. What'd you do? ...in this industry. But there's also a lot of really, really sick, corrupt people in this industry. And there are people in this industry who have gotten away with it for so long that they feel they're above the law. Hmm. And that's got to change. That's got to stop. Sexual abuse of minors by Hollywood big shots is nothing new. The two Corys, Feldman and Haim, recounted how they were abused by executives. Corey Feldman says it led to Corey Haim's untimely death. Well-known actor Jeffrey Jones was arrested for possession of child pornography and accused of soliciting a 14-year-old boy to pose for pornographic photographs. Oscar-winning director Roman Polanski was hunted for years for the rape of a 13-year-old girl, eventually ending up doing time in a Swiss prison. The perversion in the British entertainment industry is just as flagrant. BBC presenter Stuart Hall was jailed in counts of indecent assault against girls as young as nine. BBC radio personality Freddie Zapp was a And of course, we all know of Jimmy Seville's unrelenting abuse of minors that spiraled out of control for years while authorities looked the other way. Martin Scorsese used to be the high priest of the L.A. group. But six years ago, he was replaced 
by Jim Carrey. And, uh, you know, I was just so shocked when I heard that Jim Carrey was involved with the whole thing. I guess the real Jim Carrey was in Living Color, and somewhere after leaving Living Color, joined the Satanism sect of Hollywood, got demons to help him become a better actor and more funny. And so now that now when you see him acting out his comedian roles, you're seeing the demons that he has work through him. Uh, Jim Carrey's daughter was on uh, is joining American Idol show. I didn't even know he had a daughter. And and she wasn't that fantastic of a singer, I guess. But you know what? When this whole thing's when the whole season starts with American Idol, like they're going to say no. Okay, everybody knows who Jim Carrey is. He's the high priest of L.A. His daughter wants on American Idol. He, she's getting on American Idol. I would have died laughing if one of them had said no. That would have shown kahunas. So uh wasn't shocked to find out the number two guy behind Jim Carrey in Hollywood is uh, Robert Shapiro, uh, O.J. Simpson, one of his top attorneys. He's the number two guy in Hollywood. And also that uh, Al Gore spends a lot of time with the satanic groups in Hollywood uh, because he wants attention. He wants media attention. Whenever he comes out with something stupid like global warming, or something totally false and made up and imaginable, he's uh, he'll get all the media attention he wants for it because he rubs shoulders and eats poop with all these people in Hollywood. So I asked, what what group does he go to? Chicago or Texas or D.C.? And I was told he goes out to L.A. I was shocked. And so uh, you know, there's big groups everywhere. Um, the Satanists have groups in every city. If you're in New York, you're going to answer to George Soros. He's the high priest in New York. Who's the puppet master? George Soros. So, George, um, Glenn Beck has been on this kick that you are actually the mastermind who is trying to bring down the American government. Of the satanic cult there. It's George Soros who's replaced David Rockefeller because David Rockefeller is getting too ill. So now you have George Soros, who's the high priest of New York City. If you go to Chicago, you're going to answer to Penny Pritzker. If you go to San Francisco, you're going to answer to Nancy Pelosi. If you go to Texas, uh, you're going to answer to uh, John Paul DeJora. And so, uh, you know, in L.A., it's Jim Carrey. Uh, when you're in, in a group, you have someone you answer to. John Paul, who he is when I mention this, he's the one behind Paul Mitchell Hair Products. In fact, his, he was a business partner uh, with, I don't know if it was Paul Mitchell Director, that him and his business partner created Paul Mitchell Products. But he killed his partner when he realized how wealthy he could get over these products. And so... Uh, he's behind all the Paul Mitchell Hair Salon products. He's also behind the Patron Ultra Tequila, some kind of tequila alcohol that's out. And so he's made billions off of hair products and tequila. And he is uh, the high priestess of Texas. What's interesting about Texas is that uh, Joe Osteen was just picked, was just nominated, I guess promoted to be uh, the spirit counselor for the Houston area. And uh, I, I've told you all these religious people are Satanist folks, and and, and it's, it's Paul White and Joel Osteen both are spirit counselors for their areas, for their area groups. And they're the ones that are in charge of keeping tabs on people inside the group. Um, they help run the group's day-to-day -day operations. They talk to spirits uh, about what people inside the group are doing. If you're in a satanic group or brotherhood or whatever, tabs on you 24-7. There are demons who watch you. And if you're not doing something that would please Satan, they report you to people that are in your occultic group. 
And so, uh, you know, Joe Osteen would be the one that these demons go to and say, hey, you know, this 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 woman over here, she's not doing enough dirty evil deeds. And then Joel or Joel could report that to the high priest or priestess, and that woman could be in trouble. I mean, it's you're not free in these things. You're very tightly controlled and watched. And like I said, everybody has a ministry. So this is Joel Olstein's ministry for Satan, being a spirit counselor within the. They don't call demons friendly spirits. They are, are demons. They call them friendly spirits. No surprise. <laughs> and no one knows how to use demons more than Joel Osteen does. Uh, Kenneth Copeland, all of them involved, they all just basically sit back and watch because they've already been through the ranks, already at the top, and they move over to give other people um, access to positions. I mean, you, you don't get uh, much worse when you're already so far up at the top that you hear from Satan direct himself. I mean, because I was asking, well, why aren't Bill Clinton or George Bush or Hillary Clinton or, or you know, Dick Cheney, why aren't these people priestesses, high priests and high priestesses? It's because they already hear from Satan direct. He already speaks to them directly, so they don't have to, they don't have to be a high priest or high priestess. He speaks to them directly and tells them what to do. They take their orders directly from Satan. If you're in an occultic group, you take your orders from the high priest or high priestess. And he doesn't think you've you've sacrificed enough. Uh, there was a conversation uh, where Jim Carrey told John Travolta he didn't have a, enough sacrifice. So he told him he had to sacrifice his son or his wife. And made John Travolta choose between his son or his wife. One of them was going to be sacrificed. So what did we hear about two or three years ago? About We heard about how his son fell in the bathroom on vacation and died. Yeah, that was John's decision. That was his sacrifice for John Carey and, and Jim Carrey and Satan. Um, because you can only kill animals for so long, folks. 